Summer travel season is in full swing and joining us this morning with the scoop on some cool things to know before you head out is travel expert Lee Abamonte. Lee, thanks so much for joining us. Alex, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Of course, it's great to have you on. And we know you've traveled all over the place, so you're like the perfect person to talk to about this. Where do we start when we want to start planning our trip? I like to get started at booking.com because it makes planning summer travel easy with access to over a million places to stay across every budget level. From five-star hotels and villas to apartments, boats, tree houses, and everywhere in between, their website and mobile app makes it easy for travelers to book a stay from anywhere on any device with in-house customer service 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Excellent. Now the big other challenge that we have aside from booking is deciding where we want to go. So where, how do we choose, how do we even start the process in picking? Well, it's interesting. There's a company called 23andMe. It's an at-home genetic test which tests your health and ancestry. It gives you a comprehensive breakdown of where in the world your DNA comes from by matching it to more than 30 regions around the globe. After exploring your ancestry, you might learn of a country of origin in your DNA that you never knew about. 23andMe is actually seeing a trend in booking travel destinations based upon your DNA discovery. I have a friend who is dating a guy who was adopted. He did 23andMe and found the town in Italy where his DNA came from and they actually went there on vacation and found a long lost relative, if you can believe it. And it's, it's, it's a crazy story, but right now 23andMe is actually running a sweepstakes where they're choosing 23 winners for trips valued at up to $20,000 for accommodations of five nights plus spending money for you and a guest by going to 23andMe.com and registering by August 3rd. Wow, well that's certainly a way to pick where to go. Now Lee, are there any other travel tips you have so people sort of have an easy time of their vacation? Sure, I always tell people that they should travel light and that way you can save time, stress and money by not having to check bags. You don't have to pay for fees. You don't have to worry about the airlines losing or damaging your bags and you don't have to wait at the airport once you arrive. You can just get on your way and uh, you'll be happy you did. And I also tell people that since travel can be expensive, uh, you should always cover yourself with travel insurance because things happen. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, your trip could get canceled for any reason. Uh, a lot of times things out of your control, delays, interruptions, they happen. But you don't want to have a financial loss to accompany the stress of having to cancel your trip in the first place. So be covered with travel insurance and alleviate that problem from the beginning. You'll be happy you did if something happens. Okay, very smart tips. And like I said, you've traveled all over the world. If you had a personal favorite place to tell people you really have to go there this summer, what would you tell them? You know, it's funny, I'm, I get that question all the time, but uh, I know you guys are in uh, Tucson, which uh, I went to business school in Phoenix, so I'm a huge fan of Arizona, and uh, I always tell people that they should explore where they live and around where they live. So the southwest of the United States, I mean, it's massive, obviously, but uh, has some of the best national parks in all of the world, and uh, I would take the southwest of the United States up against any region uh, in any country in the world. That's what we like to hear, Lee. That's exactly, uh, I agree with you. I couldn't agree with you more. I went up to Kitt Peak the other day and it really is just in our own backyard and it's something that you would never expect to be that nice. So as always, I wanna thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, buddy, take care. Hey, you too. Stay right where you are. We'll be right back.